This Gamer Spot's brought to you by Retro Magazine. Subscribe now at readretro.com. Hello everyone, Focus RS from Arcade USA. I'm at a store in Canton, North Carolina. It's called the Home Computer Services and Retro Gamer. I'm here with the owner, Mr. Rob Worth. Yeah, well, hi Rob, how are you doing today? Doing good. Well, what can you tell me about your retro store? How, when did you actually start selling the retro games? Actually, just about six months ago. I had a computer store for about 13 years. and uh, the We had little computer museum upstairs and we wanted to kind of expand a little bit and that's how we started seeing that there was a need for some older games and people coming in and talking about it and asking about it. So we started doing it. So. Uh, where have you found most of your stock that you have here? Uh, as far as the console games? The consoles and the, and the uh, games. A lot, and a lot of people cars. just bring it in and trade it for money or trade. Um, I had some just growing up that I brought with me. Um, and then also uh, Craigslist, eBay, everything. Have you had much luck looking around some of the flea markets and stuff around here trying to uh, find stuff for your store? Yeah, sometimes they seem to be a little high price though because they kind of know what they have. They so, know what they have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got to find somebody that doesn't know what, what they got. <laughs> and then usually that's when you get the kind of cool finds because you know, they don't realize what they have. So it's kind of now besides the retro video games, what else does your store do? Uh, the primary business is computer, PC repair. We sell laptops, uh, desktops, and repair computers when people get infections and things like that. That's actually the primary business. And then the uh, retro gaming is kind of a thing, place that we added it, but it's actually, I don't know, it's, I've, I've got a little bit of a passion for it. Uh, I grew up with it, so it's, it's more exciting than a computer. <laughs> Uh, I notice also in your store you have like a small little museum set up with the computers and some of the older consoles. Yeah. What, what prompted you to start that? Uh, well, back in the 80s, uh, my dad had purchased a uh, Radio Shack a TRS-80 color computer, and that's how I started working on computers. Uh, started programming the basic back then, made my own games, because uh, I didn't have the money to go out and buy you know, the game consoles that we have now. So, uh, so it's just, it's good memories from back in the 80s. So. Uh, had a love for it, so that's what I'm doing. So when I was up here looking at the uh, museum, I noticed you had a lot of them set up, hooked up to monitors, running, mm -hmm. so you allow patrons to come in and try some games out on these old computers? Yeah, yeah we have just about every uh, original computer system that was out, you know, from the 80s, and they're all connected uh, to older TV sets, and we've got some games upstairs where uh, there's no charge, they can just come and play for free. It's kind of, it, a lot of people, when they come down, they just kind of, they got this glazed look in their eye, like, you know, wow. <laughs> it's, it's a neat, uh, it's neat when, when they come down and say what they remember about computers. Also notice in your store here, you have a couple of multi-arcade machines here, a cocktail table and a, a full upright one. Uh, are you starting to sell these, or? Yep, they're, uh, my, my, uh, the retro game name came from, <clears throat> excuse me, what I really enjoy is retro gaming. <coughs> Excuse me. The new ones are okay, but I mean, this is really where gaming kind of started out. So uh, there's a place in Tennessee that actually builds them, you know, made in the U.S. And, uh, they're just high quality. They they do a nice job. And, uh, you know, the nice thing about these is compared to the older uh, cabinets that need a lot of work now because they've been around for so many years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're just one circuit board and like this, these have 60 amount games in it. Uh, they've got the coin slots, you can set them up for free play if you want. Uh, and you get, you know, 60 games in one compared to having 60 separate games, which would take up a lot of space too. So. That seems to be a growing trend. People want the arcade experience, but we'll have the room, you get one of these or a cocktail table, or like I've got a barcade top. Yeah. They have all your games you remember from your youth to play mm -hmm. right off hand. Makes it pretty nice. Yeah. Do you have any kind of future aspirations for your business of what you like to try to do next? Uh, I guess you know if I had the money, uh, my dream would be to kind of build an oval arcade like I used to have for my 80s. Uh, 
you know, I, I don't, I'm going to just kind of take it step by step. I mean, I actually had a huge pinball machine collection in Michigan, and uh, that's a lot of maintenance, you know, so I, I don't know if I want to get back into pinballs, but uh, there was just something about the arcades from the 80s that just, I mean, you walked in, it was just like, it was like magic, you know, it was something, I, you can't put words on it, so. No, it's an experience. Yeah. A lot of that's been lost now. Yeah. The people that get the experience of the younger generation don't know what, what they missed. They don't. In addition to all the video games Rob has, he also has a video game and computer museum that's located upstairs. Rob also has a solar power system that powers his shop. Let's listen to him talk about uh, this it. This is our solar system here, part of it at least. We got 16 sharp panels up on the roof. Uh, each panel is about 220 watts each. And then uh, eight panels come into each box here, breaker box. And then they go into the charge controllers. And which charges the batteries. We've got a big bank of uh, high capacity uh, lead acid batteries. So at nighttime, uh, we can run the security system and lights and stuff like that. Uh, and then during the day, we can run all the other stuff. And then this unit here is the, uh, the inverter, which converts the power from the batteries to uh, the AC voltage. It runs everything in the store.
Well, if you ever find yourself in Western North Carolina, you really need to stop by this store and say hi to Rob. It's conveniently located in Canton, North Carolina, just off of Interstate 40, just minutes from Asheville, North Carolina. Thanks for watching.